Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. The Lord bless you, my dear viewer. A great pleasure to meet you here this morning. We thank God for making it possible for us to meet through this media. And I praise the Lord for a beautiful morning. We thank God. This morning I have this good news for you that you are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. Perhaps you are asking, but I don't feel like one. I don't feel I don't see myself overcoming. I'm overwhelmed. The word of God says in the book of 1 John chapter 5 verses 4, for whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world our faith and that's the good news my brother that you are an overcomer according to the word of god i like the choice of word that king james version uses king james version uses the word for whatsoever for whatsoever instead of whosoever for whatsoever that word whatsoever is not limited to a person if the bible the word of god would have used whosoever it would be limited to people but the, but this particular version uses the word whosoever whosoever goes beyond people into uh, into things it goes beyond personalities into things into your visions into your ideas and so the word of god says that that idea that god has given you is meant to overcome the world that vision that god gave you is meant to overcome the world that those i mean the family that god has given you is meant to overcome the world the children that god has given you you trusted god for those children god has given you those children you they have to overcome the world you know the family where god has placed you that family is meant to overcome the world. And so my brother and sister, you might be saying but it doesn't look like, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't I just don't feel it. You don't have to feel it. Believe what the word of God is saying. Trust what the word of God is saying and that is where the game changing aspect will be. What the word of God says. Now, they say they the, the word of God uses the word overcomes overcomes now that word overcomes as used in the passage is a, is a, is a continuous present tense overcomes it didn't say that those who have trusted in Jesus overcame and lost the victory it di- it doesn't say that you will overcome in the future it is saying that you are continuously you are continuously overcoming it's not just a one instant overcoming you are continuously it means that from today from right now you are supposed to be co- to be conquering to be living in victory and so my brother your victory is not just limited to one event in the past your victory is not just a e- limited to one event today or even one event in the future you are victory is a continuous process and therefore continuous in what sense you are supposed to be overcoming in finances you are supposed to be overcoming in health you are supposed to be overcoming in your family you are supposed to be overcoming in your ministry any obstruction that stands your way on your way you are supposed to be to be overcoming why because you have the dna of god that overcomes the world the bible says everybody whatever is born of god overcomes the world and since you have the dna of god you have to overcome the world my brother and my sister how do you overcome you're asking how do you overcome the word of god says by faith in the lord jesus christ you overcome by faith in the lord jesus christ jesus overcame your responsibilities to have faith in him and maintain the victory the lord jesus Christ expects you to overcome He expects you to continue carrying on the victory. He expects you to move on victoriously. 
He's not looking at you at one point dropping the victory that he won for you. And I want you to go with that aspect today. That you are not going to drop the victory that the Lord Jesus Christ won for you. You are going to stand in the gap and continue holding on on the victory. And how do you do it? By faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Not on your effort, not on your strength, not on anything else. Not on, on your achievement, previous achievement, but on faith. Your faith anchored on the Lord Jesus Christ. You will be victorious and not just once, continuously. I want to pray with you even as I'm bringing this to a close. Father, in the name of our, of our Lord Jesus Christ, give you praise, Lord, this morning, Lord. Many thanks, Lord, for reminding us, Lord, that we have a duty to continue carrying on with the victory that you won at the cross. And therefore, Lord, this morning, I commit my brother and my sister in your hand as they are moving out, I pray that the grace of God, of God is sufficient on them. By faith, they are victors. By faith, they are overcoming their world. By faith, their vision, their ideas is sure for victory, Lord. We give you praise, Lord, because it's only possible when they anchor their faith on you. And Lord, you are strengthening them, Lord, to anchor their faith on you. We give you praise in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you, my dear friend. It was nice to have you here. My name is Philip Odera. Until we meet again, stay blessed. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.